Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The delegation of Western Armenia was present at the Geneva Armenian Center. Azerbaijanis should recognize and respect the sovereignty of Armenia. You, as congressman, express support for the Armenian people. The Armenian ombudsman Arman Tatoyan presented the situation with Armenian captives of the war to Adam Ship. Solidarity with the producers of the Dersim High platform. The Armenian church of Dersim in Western Armenia has turned into ruins. In Artsakh, it is planned to make a legal clarification regarding the communities left out from the control of Artsakh as a result of the war. A white book was published in French telling about the analysis and consequences of the Artsakh war. Speech by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan. Dear President of Western Armenia, Mr. Ambassador of the Republic of Armenia, Worsi Father Gusan, Mr. Consul General, Mr. Vartan Sermakesh, Chairman of the Church Parish Orni Kazanjan, our compatriots and friends of the Republic of Armenia, on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of the St. Jacob Parish Fair of the Armenian Apostolic Church, we present to you the world-famous tenor Maestro Vahram Tadevosyan. His lauded Armenian voice bel canto adorn international stages and opera houses. His voice wrecks and takes us into the depths of the culture of Armenian people of Western Armenia, which has a thousand-year-old history. We are all children of our Western Armenia. Maestro Van Otedo is an honorary citizen of the Spanish city of Valencia, the Italian city of Genova, and Western Armenia. Recently, he, along with other awards, was awarded the title of Artist in the Year in the field of the singing in the Russian Federation in 2020. Member of the U.S. House of Representatives Catherine Clark urged Azerbaijan to respect Armenia's sovereignty. As it transmit Armen Press, she wrote about it on his Twitter page. I stand next to the Armenian people who have been subjected to another indiscreditable attack. Azerbaijan must recognize and respect Armenia's sovereignty. I condemn this latest act of aggression and urge the government of this country to adhere to this peace agreement of last year, the congressman wrote. The Armenian ambassador Arman Tatoyan, in an interview with U.S. Congressman Adam Schiff, presented the facts of armed attacks by Azerbaijani armed forces nearby the Armenian villages and blocking roads with a human rights violation. The discussion was organized by the National Committee of Armenia in the region of Western America. The Office of the Human Rights Defender said in a statement, Arman Tatoyan informed the congressman that Azerbaijani troops are illegally on the roads between Armenian towns and villages, which endangers the lives and health of people, disrupts the normal life of residents. The Armenian rights defender also raised the issue on the immediate return of Armenian captives of war illegally held in Azerbaijan and their forced trial in Baku. He stressed the importance of an international response to this issue, as reported by Armen Press. The Armenian platform Dersim has undertaken a project, development of the beekeeping in Dersim against migration, and employment distribution of bees to 50 poor peasants. The platform statement notes that the purpose of the program is to stimulate profitable activities in the region and use the labor force in such a way as to prevent migration. The representative of the platform, Arek Kara, made a statement on this topic saying, we want to offer many projects for Dersim. The reason for this is Dersim, where we, as Armenians, can freely express ourselves. We want to strengthen our brotherhood and cooperate with the Dersimians. Within the framework of the project, VAX producers, organizations for the production of beekeeping materials and equipment will also have their share of profit, which will be reflected in their own markets. More plants will be grown on the Dersim plateaus and villages, which will create an attractive condition for beekeeping in obtaining better products. Located in the village of Ergen in the Dersim province of Western Armenia, the church of Ergan turned into ruins after the death of the last Armenian resident. Judging by the inscriptions on the walls, the church was built in 975 by the Prince Mahitar in the memory of Virgin Mariam. The stone found in the interior of the church, built entirely of smooth stones, were designed using engraving. Khachkas, which are the integral part of most Armenian churches, are almost engraved on the stones of this church. During the genocide of Armenian people in 1950, the last priest in the church was burned inside the church. After that, the church was abandoned, first the roof, and then the walls began to collapse. The treasure thieves also contributed to the destruction of the church. The Standing Committee of State and Legal Issues of the National Assembly of Republic of Artsakh has approved a draft law providing for legal clarity regarding communities that remained out from the control of Artsakh as a result of the war on September 27, 
2020. The draft law fixed those settlements of the Republic of Artsakh that were captured by Azerbaijan as a result of the 44-day war. Settlements were also recorded, some of which were occupied by Azerbaijan as a result of the war, as well as the settlements that have not yet been settled after the war. The draft law also introduces a legal specification regarding the settlements captured by Azerbaijan as a result of the First Artsakh War. The Artsakh War of 2020 revealed numerous weaknesses of the military position and policies of the Republic of Armenia. The White Book, first published in English under the title The Karabakh War of 2020 at the Future Foreign and Secretary Policy of Armenia, was then widely distributed and read in Armenian language in Armenia, is now available in French on the website of Foundation Armenian Peace Initiative. The book deeply examines the omissions that led to the war and defeat. It explains the military geopolitical environment in which Armenia has operated since its independence and makes proposals for elections and future reforms. The author hoped to stimulate public discussions, but also to help the authorities rethink the problem by forming a new diplomatic and national security policy. Already in this book, White Book, it can be noted that a legal issue on the existence of Artsakh's relation to Western Armenia in accordance with the peace conference in February 1990, at the London Conference on February 1920, and a San Reno Conference in April 1920. The response of the Supreme Council of the Alliance of the Turkish Memorandum on June 25, 1920, on a signing of the Treaty of Severs on August 10. In 1920, and the arbitration decision of President Woodrow Wilson on November 2020, in 1920, is not considered, which therefore does not allow for the balanced reading or acceptance of the Azerbaijan statement. Now, the musical part Armenian folk song Hoy Nazan. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.